Hi, this is G. Trulia from TST and ATTS, and I have a problem here on this 2007 Jeep. There's our 2007 Jeep up there, and this has a gas cap uh, message that comes up in the display of where the odometer is, and also a check engine light on for a very small leak. Checking this conventionally with smoke, you couldn't see this leak, and you're going to see why. Today, we're going to be using the bullseye setup and this is not a commercial this thing really works okay you guys that have been watching my videos out there you know if you want to find a leak or any other thing that I've ever showed you really does work so watch this we have first of all we're going to press pressure test, uh, test our equipment first and baseline it I have CO2 going in here from a big bottle that's on the floor and it's in the green so there's no leak in the equipment that means any of the hoses any of the connections on this hose that goes to the tank that you'll see up here in a minute. And now I'm going to turn this lever and I'm going to see where our leak is. Well, there's our leak. And our leak is in the orange, almost into the red. That's not good. So now we have to be able to find this leak. And this is not a made-up leak. This is actually a problem on this vehicle. In fact, if you check Jeep uh, Liberties, they have problems with porous tanks. And you can see this tank has even been undercoated. So, let's first find the leak by adjusting my little beeper here. And it's three different colors, green's good, yellow's bad, and of course you can hear this annoying noise. When it goes into the yellow like this, we got a problem. So now I'm going to turn it back just to where the yellow light is not blinking. Okay, so you see that? No yellow. Now I'm going to be looking around for a leak. Listen as we get close to where a leak is. And there's, there's our first leak. No tricky business, watch. I will tune this down. I'm gonna put it back up. And now I'm gonna go into this area. You can hear it getting more severe. There you go. Okay. So there's one leak. And we're gonna confirm this leak with the special stuff. Now, it has to clear itself out, so I'm gonna readjust this again. And I'm going to check the side of the tank here. Look at that. You can hear it starting to get bad. Got to adjust that sensitivity again. It's all green. So listen. There's something over here. And you can see that came right on. So there's definitely a leak up here. And now I gotta clear it out again. And you can see this is probably gonna turn yellow here in a minute. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's gonna make me a liar. It did come across a leak over here before. But we could check that. So I'm gonna put this away for now. And we're going to look at our, our areas of leak. We're going to use this bullseye foam that hopefully I have enough in the can. And let's take a look right here. It goes on pink. And if it turns yellow, then we know we got a problem. Hopefully I don't spray the camera. You won't be able to see it. Okay, so, and by the way, this stuff washes off with solution. And we can start to see that right here we're starting to turn yellow. And just give it a little more. You're going to see all this pink here turning into yellow. The spots up here where there's no CO2 coming out of, or even air for that matter. And I messed up the gauge by getting all stuff on it, but no problem. Let's look. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's look what's happening. Right in here, you can see all the yellow. So I have a leak, and this has a new seal in here, a new O-ring from Chrysler. 
has been installed there. A new lock and ring has been installed on this tank. And the problem with this tank is this, the fuel pump module, is believed to be bad. And well, down here, this is staying pink. I guess before when I checked it, this line may have been leaking or facing down. Put the detector back there. So I'm going to take the detector again. Check, play with the sensitivity. I'll turn this wand so it's a little... And there it goes. And look, it's starting to turn yellow. And look at the top. One last look at the top where it's super yellow. So when you can't find a leak that is a 20,000th leak or whatever, you may want to use this stuff called Bullseye. And this is not a commercial. It really works. If you have any questions, you could always, you could always call me. That's right, you can even call me. Our telephone number is 845-628-6928, that's TST. Or you can email me at gt at tstseminars.org. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.